Welcome back everybody. I'm here with some more Digimon Real Rise and we got new Digimons. You guys know it. Uh, we got Susanomon and Lusamon. Uh, Susanomon is a really big fan favorite. I kind of like Lusamon for the in-game stuff. Um, however, we're getting like a wave of like a lot of really good Digimon. I feel like we just not too long ago got Omnimon's work and we're getting these guys and there's word I you know just rumor that I've heard that Apocalypse, Apocalypse, Apocalypse one, uh, is coming in, and we're also getting Skull Greymon, which is a really good ultimate. Um, so we have to be really picky for like older players. Uh, for a new player, I guess you can always reroll, but um, or a semi-old new player, you know, that's just started, you know, not too long ago. You still have to be a little picky with what you summon for. Um, Susanomon is really cool and all, but I'm not sure if it's a must. Uh, let's look at Lusamon first since it's right here. Uh, first of all, it, has, it does have like really good stats. Uh, they, but Digimons that are going to have good stats are slowly going to start coming. Like They're like more bulkier, so there's that to consider. Um, however, with its plugins, it does bring it up to like its tech to 5,300 or 6,300. 6, with If it has both its plugins... I don't really like counter because if you give it both its plugins, 50% counter, and with fade going around, uh, that's like scary, you know. Uh, and then he's calm, so he will be targeted by that fade. So there's that to consider with having a loose him on right now in the meta. Uh, block, it's get, getting ignored, so its plugins seem like you rather want to give it other plugins you have, you know. Um, so, so let's see this guy. Uh, it lowers your opponent's tech. Resistance by 40% three enemies pretty decent. Uh, it gives you a chance to give any skill So it's like a low-key Mastemon um, And that could come in handy. However There's a lot of like blocking this. I know creepy mon does it not only that it is a counter to itself guys um, If you guys check here um, It nullifies status for all so and then nullifies all DLTs and the thing is with that is that if you use it your opponent uses it like it just countered itself, um, and that's a yikes, you need a Dispeller, and I'm not sure Gallimon will like handle the meta, Old Force is not very good in the meta, uh, he's very fragile, and uh, the other one's Chaosmon, which it will really get like power crept real fast, especially with all these Digimons coming out, uh, Apocalypse Mon is coming out, and I think it dispels for 5 turns, if it is coming, like that's going to be a huge yikes. Um, so yeah, it, the status is kind of cool, but it could, it counters itself when you're going against another one. And there's a lot of counters to this, uh, it's sub skill. It does, it blocks skill. It gives you skill lock to your opponent, uh, three enemies, decent range on both, you know? Um, and there's not a lot of things that block, you know, skill lock. So that can hit, uh, it's passive is really good. It's really, really good. Uh, it downs your opponent's defense by 40%. That means that you're going to do a lot more damage. Uh, it nullifies statuses, nullifies DLT. So, as much as like you want to use it to block your opponent, like you also kind of need it to block your opponent. As much as you need it to inflict statuses to your opponent, as much as you need it to protect you from those statuses. So it's it cancels itself out if you're going against one, basically. Um, they're pretty good Digimon. Honestly, pretty good Digimon. However, there's going to be a lot of more Digimons later on that do give this. If Skull Satan Mon comes out or whenever it comes out, uh, that's going to be like the meta, like meta Digimon to use for like the longest. So there's that to consider. An ultimate will be more meta than this guy. Um, the next one is going to be Susanomon. Uh, it's going to do crit power. It's pretty good because it's going to go up to 5,400, which is decent. Uh, however, it has really high chance of crit block I dislike uh, it attacks three enemies two times with crit there's a lot of crit nullification going around um, it a chance to blind enemies pretty decent uh, especially since you want to like inflict statuses I guess when you have them uh, increase block rate which is not a big deal a sub skill attacks for enemies gives them a chance to burn basically it's just trying to if you can't inflict the blind I think I'm pretty sure it's there because like blind there's not many digimons that those status protecting digimons usually don't cover blind except lucimon i think lucimon yeah not even lucimon protects them 
and that's something to consider like that that's why blind is good i guess to that degree as well as skill lock uh you need something like a black war greymon or a moss daemon and he inflicts burn just in case they have status protection i guess too um four enemies not that great not a big deal uh it ups its own crit by 50 percent and if you have both its plugins that's already 100 percent crit um that's pretty good it's almost going to guarantee crit if it can crit uh and then it allows you to do three times damage when your opponent has um statuses either dlt status skill lock blind and that's permanent so that's pretty good um you could dispel its crit though so you could lower it uh it might be really worth it to give it like full crit still so Sanamon's cool and all he's gonna it seems like he will do a lot of damage However, because Lusamon's around, uh, uh, Creepymon's around, there's that to consider, you know, like, it's a yikes. Um, if I, definitely if I go against one, I will activate Imperial Dramon's uh, sub-skill just to block, just to mitigate some damage. Uh, the next thing we're getting is the act. If we're getting tickets. It sucks. Uh, we got oh, we got gems the other time, and that was really good. If we're not even getting that many. We're getting... 15 total uh just to clear like the last story of the last act of each scene of the stories which sucks you know that honestly does suck oh and then by completing it you get another five so it is 20 in total two multis yikes you know like it's really hard to get something really good in these ticket summons a lot of the times uh it would have been better for gems since they're gonna like shit out a lot of digimon uh they're also doing that in jp so but if we're trying to catch up, they're just going to bombard us, like, even worse. Like, I hope that's not what they're trying to go for. But it seems like it. Um, so be careful. Uh, Apocalypse Mon, I think, may seem more worth it than these guys. Though the 40% down defense, like, does seem really appealing. Uh, Lissamon's really good. It, it could potentially be a skip, depending on, like, what future Digimons come in. Um, so be careful save your gems use them wisely if you want to summon for this it, these are good digimon i guess i don't think sasanamon will be like super meta um so there's that uh july challenge is gonna be for death i believe yeah for your sasanamon um there's gonna be boost for you know battle park uh sasanamon lusamon and then right here we have the skull Graymon. oh yeah there you go it's right here. That's why there's rumors of Apocalypse. He's going to be a death. And I think he dispels for 5 turns. This guy will be like top tier. So you might want to even like skip this and try to go for this. Uh, it might be a step up banner. It would be kind of crazy. We just got a step up banner. But I can't see us getting. Unless it's with it. That will be a whoa. Like this three strong Digimons. Like in one banner. I wonder if the rates are going to be like real low. Not only that. Skull, Greymon. I believe it's there for defenses it really increases your defenses uh, we'll see and then the training sets do i think they're worth it i don't really like their plugins to be honest so i'm not sure if it's worth it for their play susano's attack plugins really good really really good but the rest of their plugins i'm not sure i think they're good uh st stones i guess if you haven't saved up or you don't have enough it's a it's going to be a personal choice but i don't think they're a must have for these Digimon, uh, the BB Paddle Exchange, we're gonna get Leopard, uh, Craniumon. I don't think these are too meta, but it's a personal choice if you want to waste your person, your medals for that. Again, these plugins, I don't think they're worth to get. Maybe just the Susanomon one. I think that one's pretty good. Um, and these are horrible. Don't get these. When they're gonna come out? They're gonna literally come out like in two days, which is a big yikes. Two days from this video, I believe, or a day and a half. I don't know, somewhere around there. Um, it's the 14th, so two days. And then we're also going to get a clash battle, so... Oh, yikes. You know, everything's kind of coming high gear. It's going to be here for a month. So, like, 30 days or so. So, this is when we expect another Digimon. It just feels, like, so fast to me. I don't know about you guys. But be careful. Uh, like I said, uh, we'll look into... Apocalypse. Uh, let me switch over to another screen. Alright guys, I went to the JP wiki for Digimon Rearrise, so Skull Greymon, let's talk about it a little bit, increases your defense by 40, it basically counteracts um, Lusamon, so you'll be okay, 
Um, it could definitely have its uses for BP, even though it's um ultimate. And I think it will for a while. It increases your res tech resistance, increases your power resistance. So whatever you're going against, either a power team, a tech team, it, right now it's kind of like a mixture. I see mostly mixture teams, but it has it there. If it was all in one skill, that would be like super OP, but it doesn't. It basically there, this is a defensive Digimon. It's going to be really good for Underworld because it's so defensive. Uh, increases all your allies defense by 40%, increases your block rate, you know, by 40%. So this is good for those that, you know, don't ignore block, but most digi most strong Digimons, most things that are going to hurt you are, you know, are there. So, so if you guys don't pull, um, Lusamon, at least, you know, if you guys manage to pull him, at least you guys can counter Loki. Um, and let's switch over to Apocalypse Mon. Um, okay, Apocalypse Mon, it reduces four enemies, buffs by five turns. So don't even try to summon for Chaos Mon because there's this. And then it gives your opponent a chance to darken, blind. They call it darkness because of translations. Um, then it's sub skill, it attacks three enemies, ignores block, I believe. Yeah, ignores block. And gives them a chance to sleep. So there's that. Um, it's sub skill. It disables statuses for itself. Increases your its own crit by forty percent. Um, so it's it's passive is not a big deal, but I think it's mostly used for its buffs. Five turns removal is really strong. Um, I know there's um, the creepy mon, and most people want to say, well, like you know, if this comes out, creepy mon's no longer good. However, the next Digim the strongest Digimon that JP currently has, you know, JP's like way ahead of us, right? Uh, it's five turn crit protection. I think they just got something. They just got something after a long time. Um, and it's going to be something hard to get. It's like an, a, a Digimon egg. It's a pack that you have to buy. Um, but ignoring that, uh, the next best thing that we're possibly going to get for a long time um, is going to be uh, Omega Mon Ultra S, which protects you from crit for five turns. This one dispels it automatically. So we're getting something that's going to counter the next good crit block. Uh, crit negation. How, that doesn't mean that Creepy Mon's not going to be good. I think Creepy Mon's really excellent. I feel like you need to summon for him before you summon in all this. So there's my personal opinion. Uh, hope this helped anybody. Uh, remember to subscribe, like the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.